Hi folks, Dr. Byer again. Today, I wanna to talk about one of the main symptoms that I see when patients come see us in our clinic, and that is brain fog. Now, when I, when I used to use that word, I was always fearful that people didn't know what I meant, but they get it right away. The common symptoms of brain fog are you just feel out of it, you have problems focusing, you forget things, you don't feel like being around people, you feel like you need a lot of sleep, you just feel like a haze over your head. And often, this is misunderstood by a lot of doctors for depression, and it really is not depression. It's just that the energy of your neurons, the brains in your, the cells in your brain, are not, they're just fatiguing on you. And one of the main causes of brain fog is systemic inflammation. Now, what do I mean by that? Inflammation means your immune system is overactive. Now, if I hit myself with a hammer, I'm going to have some inflammation. That's local inflammation due to an injury. I'm talking about systemic or whole body inflammation. When you have inflammation, systemic inflammation, what's going to happen is certain chemicals are released into the bloodstream, and these chemicals cross into the brain, and they react with your brain's immune cells. Every neuron we have in our brain, for every neuron we have in our brain, we have about 10 immune cells that protect it. Those are called microglial cells. So when we have systemic inflammation, these chemicals readily go into the brain and they activate these microglial cells and your neurons will not function properly when you have microglial activation. And systemic inflammation causes microglial activation. So now what are the main causes of inflammation? Well, I'm gonna give you what I think, I see clinically the top four reasons for chronic systemic inflammation. Number one are food sensitivities. Folks, the food we eat now is not the same food we ate 20, 30 years ago. A lot of it's been modified genetically and our immune systems and our gut aren't recognizing it, so we eat it and it causes systemic inflammation. We test for this. Another one are hidden infections, whether they be viruses or even gut infections. Many, many of our patients have them and don't know it. We test for that. Leaky gut syndrome. This is like having holes in your screen door on a hot summer day. Things will start to get into your home that don't belong there. In our gut, we have a lining that's very, very important barrier between our outside world and the inside of our body. If that barrier is too permeable, things will get into the body and cause an immune reaction. There's ways of testing for this and fixing it. And unstable blood sugar. If your blood sugar is too high, like in type 2 diabetes, or too low, like in reactive hypoglycemia, you're getting insulin surges, and insulin's very inflammatory. So when someone comes to us with brain fog, we know that usually they have some systemic inflammation, and we find the underlying problems through proper testing, and we address them, and the brain function returns. I'm Dr. Byer. I hope this helps. Have a great day.